Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today I have this three pack of this wireless remote outlet. All right, so what this does is pretty much you just uh, switch on the switches, whichever one you want, and it goes to a specific plug and it turns those on. Now, I already did a review on this, which was this five pack with two remotes, okay? But this one I use for devices. And if you're interested in this product, I'll put a link in the top right for you for this. So you can see that video and how this works. So this was great, but now I wanted something for my lights, all right? The switch is on the top and it's kind of a little inconvenient of getting up and doing all those switches, all right? So this one has them all in one place and when I'm sitting down or doing my videos, all I have to do is press a switch rather than me going up there and doing it. So this is gonna save me a lot of time and it's very convenient. All right, now that we cut it open, now we could go ahead and open it up. And we can see the actual devices itself. And let's take a look at that. We'll start with these. These are the individual outlets. There you go. There's one, two, and three. There you go. All the views for this. All right. You would have some ground. And for this, this is just to protect the covering. That's all for transporting and shipping. All right, here you go. Here's all three of them together. All right, let's move on next. Let's see what else we got. This is actually the switch itself, which I'm pretty pretty excited about this part. because It even has an umbrella. Not that I'll be using that. But this is the on, off. All right, it even tells you right there. All right. And the back, oh, look, the back has a bracket. It must be for mounting. Yes, it does. And, and you can see the two uh, grooves right here. It's actually, it's put like this. And what you, what you do is you mount this to where you wanted to mount. You put a screw in there, a screw in there. It mounts this first. And then you could just put the device in there. And there you go. And they'll put it in there and they'll hang it up for you. Where are you going to put it in the wall where, where, or wherever you need to put it? So this is pretty neat. And I saw something on the back here. And let me see if I can get to that now. And this thing's really good in keeping it together there. There it goes, got it off there. All right, I see this here. So let's go ahead and open that up and that's probably gonna be for a battery. And let's see here. Oh, maybe I went the wrong, oh, uh, yep, I did. There it goes, that thing just popped out by itself. And it looks like this is a battery and to make this work. All right, this is pretty good. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have the battery for this. But here's another look. And all right, let's see what else it has now. Let's go ahead and dump all this. And here's the battery, which is great. This is what we're going to need. Gives us that. And it gives you the uh, two anchors and the two screws to mount the plate on. All right. So that's good, it's giving us all that we need. And this is what I really like, is the 3M pads. Now this one, rather than um, sc screwing in it and securing it to the wall where we need, you could just put the 3M pads here and then you could secure this in there. Or you could just bypass this mount altogether and just go straight here. But I'll probably use this bracket itself for that. All right, this is neat, so you got an option. The three M pads, or you could use the screws. All right, and it gives you some limited warranty information if you want to scan that QR code. There you go. All right. And it also gives you a user manual. And this is, here it goes. Gives you everything that you comes inside. Gives you some product demonstrations, how to pair the switch and plug, and how to unpair the switch and plug, and some helpful tips. 
All right, now let's go ahead and put this together and let's go ahead and, and test this product. So I've got the three outlets, the switch plate, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect them with these adapters and I'm gonna do is charge my tablet, cell phone, and I'm gonna turn on a dash cam. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is just simply plug in the device. And what I want you to notice is there's gonna be a red light. And you see that red light blinking. So that's, that's telling you that it's ready to pair. So all you gotta do is select the switch you want and then just turn, uh, push the on switch and it, and it's paired. Now, just to test it, we have our tablet, which we're just gonna turn on and we're gonna see if it charges here. All right, we're gonna connect it and you can see it on the top right. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it again. Well, it's not even all the way in. All right, here we go. And charge it. There it goes, it's turning on by itself. And you can see the charging symbol right here. All right, now let's go ahead and what I'm gonna do is turn it off. All right, and you see the screen popped on and it's not charged anymore. I'm gonna turn it back on. There it goes. So see how easy that was to pair? Now let's go ahead and do the second one. I'm gonna leave this on. And next we have is our cell phone here. Gonna connect it to a device. And we should see the red light come on. There it is. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get the switch. Let's put all this together. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this on to pair it. And there you go, you see the charging status. Now let's turn it off, turn it off, turn it on, there it goes. So that's how easy it is to pair, but let's do one more to make sure all three of them are on and it works. There's a symbol and we're gonna plug it in. All right, now what I want you to do is hear the click when it's gonna charge, when it pairs. I'm gonna turn the switch on for number three. I hope you heard that, that little click, that's identifying that it's paired. When you heard that sound, that means the dash cam is turning on. Now let's turn it off. And you saw the screen turn off. Now what we're gonna do is turn it back on. And you can see the lights on there. All right, so let's go ahead and turn everything off. Let's start with three, off, number two, and that's off. Let's get our tablet, off. And you see the screen turn back on by itself and it's telling you know that it is not charging anymore. All right, so what if you want to change the pairings? All right, so simply what you do is you unplug. So this one's number three. So this is our third, no, third one's right here. All right, so what we do is we turn, unplug this one, number three, and we're gonna switch off. And the lights will be flickering. All right, so we, we we unplugged it and we pressed off. We're gonna plug it back in and you can see it's on pairing mode, all right? Now, if I press on, it pairs it. You see that? So, this, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unpair it again. We're gonna unpair all of them, all right? So we're gonna plug each one. So this is number three. Unplug it and press off. Number two. Plug it and press 
off. Number one. All right, on one, unplug it and turn off, okay? All of them are off now. Now, they're not paired. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pair two of them. We're gonna pair the dash cam and we're gonna un and we're gonna pair the cell phone. We're gonna remove the, the uh, tablet. Now the cell phone was number two and this was number three. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plug that in and you can see the button there. What I wanna do is since this was number three and put in number one and press on. Here you go. And you see the lights on there already. Cell phone was number two. We're gonna make it number three now. Press on. And you can see that there. And turn it off. There it goes, on. All right, so when you plug it in to pair it on the first time, simply plug this in and then press on. To unpair it, what you want to do is take it out of the outlet and press off. That's how you unpair it. That's how easy this is. So I'm excited about this. I'm ready to use this. I'm pretty much going to use it for lighting. And these buttons right here, these switches are going to make me, it's going to make it easier for me to turn off and on lights. Now, let me, let me tell you what I'm, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right. So here's a final example. Okay. I got everything connected on this one. So each one of these switch controls the light. So I'm going to turn them right now. They're all on. I'm going to turn them all off. And you're going to see the, the lighting from the background. So let me expand this here. All right. Here we go. We got one two and three so you can see how the lighting it got darker in this area now this is light number one all right and then this is light number two and i have a light number three which goes over the unboxing and which you can see where i did those earlier and this one's pretty much stays on all the time i got a switch here and which what i'm going to do is buy another pack of these and program them differently and I'll do a separate video on that one and let me give you an example of how this works all right I got this here I'm gonna try to put it right in front okay so here's light number one light number two and light number three there it goes turn it off the bottom Whoa. all right just dropped it and you can still see it works still works three this is number one and number two. All right, and you see how they work. And pretty much what this for is, again, what I did it is so I could, when I'm working and I need to start the, the review or whatever videos I'm doing or unboxing, I simply, rather than going up there, actually this one's on the top. You gotta get it right on the top, and that's over six feet high. And this one has a switch right there, and the same as that one. So this one, I don't have to worry about those switches. Go manually turn them on. All I got to do is just use this. One, two, and three. And they're all on. All right, so this video was helpful for you. Please give me a thumbs up. Can you I appreciate that from you? If you're interested in this product or the products I have, I'll put links in the description down below so you can purchase on Amazon. If you have any questions or comments about this products or any products I have, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, select all notifications for all upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe!